got one running. Pottsville police catch up with a wanted man after he took off while in custody early this morning, still in handcuffs. Charles Austin was handcuffed when he ran full speed into a deep ditch. Neil Zarang is back from Pottsville with that exclusive dash cam video. So, Neil, we saw it on camera, but how did it all go down? Laura, there were two officers and two people in the process of being searched. When one saw a window to run, he took it. And with no clear path to give chase, police chose not to split up or leave the other person alone with their vehicles. I'm just detaining you since you said you have no warrant. Chuffed and being searched. It was 2.15 Thursday morning when Pottsville police found Charles Austin as then girlfriend and learned of his felony warrant. Every felony is important. They noted his suspicious behavior. You keep looking around and in my 12 years of doing this, that looks like somebody looking for a way out to run. I never run, man. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm just, making, I'm just telling you, man. And minutes later, while searching his person and the area. On your week, you tell us. Austin takes off, not knowing what the darkness hid. Uh, hands behind his back, full speed. Uh, he fell down this embankment. After a short conversation with police, Walk up here now! he continued down a ditch. Just getting to this point took about a three minute walk downstream. It's covered in sharp rocks, glass, other things you couldn't see in the dark. So many unknowns, they decided best to get them later. I've always said that it's kind of a cat and mouse game. It's, it's the criminal's job to try and get away, and it's our job to catch them. Sergeant Jared Huffman explained officers next got back up and a drone from a neighboring agency while processing the other person's arrest. He argues the officers made the right decision for their safety. We're going to find him. And just a couple hours ago, Pottsville police did catch up with Austin. He had cut off his handcuffs, but officers arrested him after a short standoff, took him to the hospital with a shoulder injury. Niels Rangan, studio, back to you.